All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we're going to be reacting to The Last of Us, Episode 9, Look for the Light. This is the finale, you it's guys. The end. Episode 9, an odd number. And we know in odd numbers, we have to sacrifice a friend. So someone's going to die. It's just a matter of who and how traumatic it is. Um,. Everyone's been talking about this episode. I've been doing my best to avoid spoilers, uh, but I do have like some idea of, of what part of the game this is. So I'm scared to see that because what I do know is like sad. Um, but honestly, I'm excited to just get into this. I really don't know any of the specifics of the plot. So this is going to be totally new and really sad. As always, the full-length reaction will be up on our Patreon, so please go, please go check that out. It really helps support us, and we really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new, consider subscribing, because we would love to have you uh, join our little family. And with that out of the way, let's just get into The Last of Us, Episode 9. Two. Here we go, one. Can we get more clickers? I, I think they may just be recapping. Taken. So don't blame me for something. The whole show. The whole, <laughs> the whole show. But um, probably. Um, also, I believe it was someone said in the comments, or a couple people said in the comments, so thank you for this, that uh, the actress who plays Marlene is also the voice actress from Marlene in yes. the original game. So she's just like multi-talented. Mm -hmm. She's doing everything. Jump! <laughs> You know how last time we were like, why the heck did they attack them? They were gonna eat him. They were like looking right, for people I to realize, eat. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Insane. Everybody I have cared the for. The other thing someone pointed out, I think they said died James. Or Lexi. That actor oh, it's was Joel. the voice actor for yeah. Joel, which that was really cool. I kind of want to go back and listen to his voice now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this is the original. Ellie. Is that Ashley Johnson? Is it? I think that she's the voice of, or she was the original Ellie in the game. Oh, wow. Oh. They got everybody. This is not a situation you want to be in. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So is this Ellie? Is I this think, why Ellie's... I think so. Because before she got to... Ugh, that was a very visceral umbilical cord cutting. Oh my gosh. What's she gonna do? Like, what's she gonna do? She, she got bit. Hi. Oh, you're so tough. Or maybe... I got you. The mother's already immune? She doesn't seem particularly worried. Okay. Uh, interesting. No, 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 no. Who's Anna? Oh, the, I just realized. Her yep. mom? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It's not your fault. We were delayed getting out of the zone. I cut it before I was bit. Find someone to bring her up and make sure that she's safe. I can't do that. I don't want you to give her this. Ellie's knife is from her mom. I can't. How long have we known each other? up right now and then you kill me 
I can't kill you. <laughs> no, please. 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 No. Uh, uh. Marlene! <laughs> Well, I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. Oh, that was her favorite. Have you ever played this? Boggle? And boggle, the board game? If you want to beat me at something, it would be this. Well, all right. She's not doing okay. She's traumatized. Put it that way. Maybe the one we're looking for. Got it. They had a guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but it got me thinking, maybe I should find one. In fact, I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You want to learn how to play guitar? That'd be great. She's not doing good. No, so we're going to cut through that building, find a skyscraper, no. go up and look around. I had you going, didn't I? I hate that we're getting like all these the sweetest moments when she's just not able to like she's not in a place to enjoy it or be happy. Uh. Talk about bad luck. Military drops bombs. Not one of them hits the building you're trying to demolish. I'll get you up there. You can drop that ladder down. Maybe we go through that way. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so. Whoa. Damn it, Ellie! Oh, jeez, Ellie! You stay there! You gotta see this! Ellie! Ellie! Come on! Girl! Wait, where are you running? Ellie! Is there a zoo around these parts? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there is near Salt Lake City, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hurry up? Come on. It would have been shut down for a while. <laughs> hey there. Oh, where's she going? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There's so many. We don't have to do this. I just, I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, the moon. I'll follow you anywhere you go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But there's no halfway with this. Mm. We finished what we started. My heart can't take this. <gasps> Is this a Fedra thing? No. Army emergency medical camps. Obviously didn't last. There's no story. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. I went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this I is... I know why you're telling me all this. Yeah, I reckon you do. So time heals all wounds, I guess? It wasn't time that did it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm glad that that didn't work out. Do you know what I'm in the mood for? What? Shitty puns. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, this is so, this is so sweet. And I just know it's like, I know this is like, this is the good part and I'm crying. Uh, what? <gasps> oh 
Oh no, who are they? Oh my gosh! Was it just, like, what was in that? Was it just smoke? Was it- I think it, it's like a flashbang, is that what that's called? Yeah, but it- maybe I don't know. They were just stunned. I was worried yeah. there were chemicals and stuff. Where's Ellie? How'd she make it all the way here before us? I know. We lost half our crew crossing the country. I had five men whose only job was to protect me. I still almost got killed. You were the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. We all owe you. Just take me to her. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's going to remove it from her. Multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. We didn't tell her, we didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her, you take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! Hmm. I'm the only one who understands. Walking out to the highway, leaving there with his pack. Give him this. Are you serious? I didn't hear anyone say stop. Which way? Down the stairs. I said keep walking. Where is she? I don't have time for this. Oh my gosh. has one goal yeah one one goal right now unhook her how did you get in here i said unhook her <laughs> unhook her Keep her safe forever. There she No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's gonna grow up, Joel. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. So what would she decide? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. What? It's all right. You're with me. Did he kill Marlene? Take it slow. I think he did. He, he must have to get mm -hmm. out. The they were running some tests on you. And some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. And the doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually stopped. They've stopped looking. Ooh. Oh, boy. Where are my clothes? Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. We'll find you some new ones on the way. Is Marlene okay? I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. You just come after her. No, he 
hesitation. Jeez. I mean, at the beginning, Marlene was, like, scared of him because of what he's yeah. capable of. And I feel like we got a glimpse of it in yep. uh, last episode, but... I can't remember. Did they... He's not, like, ex-military or, or anything. Mm-mm. Where did, like, the skills just... He just honed them during the last 20 years. I guess so. And then, like, because with that's, his daughter... That's crazy. With his daughter being dead, I'm sure he just... Like, it was real easy. Yeah. To be like, oh, well, whatever. That's enough. all there was, like... Mm-hmm. Probably about a five-hour hike. We can manage that. No, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. She would have liked you. Not to say the two of you are the same, but definitely different kids. How so? Well, she was a lot more, I want to say, girly. And I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. (laughs) Do you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, I bet I would have. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, and she says, we can just wait it out, be all poetic, and just lose our minds together. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. But if you just keep going, you find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not what you want. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. <sighs> okay. Oh, no. Ah! There you go. Happy end of the show. And then I think we've got a little how it's made at the end, but we're not going <sighs> to. All right. Um, so, okay. The knowledge I went into this with was I know that in the game, you are given the choice, save the world or save Ellie, right? And I know the obvious choice that I think most players make is to I don't save think Ellie. it's a choice. I think I thought it was. I don't think you have a choice. You don't get to like not. I don't think so. Interesting. So it's just like you just you gotta save her. That's kind of neat because that would be. I don't know how choice based the game is. Maybe I'll I'm gonna do some research afterwards. But let us know (laughs) in the comments. What is that experience like of like rescuing Ellie from the hospital? Like, do you have much choice in it? Because it is a difficult subject. Mm-hmm. and a difficult choice and we just recently reacted to maze runner which is almost the exact same premise <laughs> which is that there's this virus and uh we're gonna have to kill some kids to cure it like you know kill mm-hmm. some immune kids and i know in that case we were much less in favor of it well you know like I, there's there's no way to I think, but I think in this case, it's a little more nuanced. Yeah, I also think the difference is that none of those kids had any choice. Yeah. And we know that if Ellie would have that known, Ellie, she would have been like, we okay. Also, she, yeah, she would have sacrificed herself. Um, and I think what Joel at the end is kind of saying is that, like, I know you think that your life may not be be worth it, that it would be okay to die, but you, you, will, you won't regret living. Because mm-hmm. he doesn't. But that's mm-hmm. not necessarily a fair thing to say. However, I will say, we also know that no matter what she chooses, the fireflies were going... That's part of the reason they never asked her. They didn't ask her, Do, are you willing to die? They didn't tell her. They didn't give her the choice. Yeah. Because they knew no matter what she responded, they were going to go through with it. So mm-hmm. even though Joel doesn't really care about her choice, neither do the fireflies. And I think No, that's, that's, that's very tough. true. That's very true. That's a good point. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where I, like, you know, technically Joel is in the wrong. Like, he shouldn't have killed yeah. all those people. He oh, should yeah. have told her the truth. But at the same time, like, I can 100% understand why he did what he did. Absolutely. And I, that's, that is, this is the buildup of the show. Um, without the last eight episodes, 
we can't empathize with him. We can't understand why he would sacrifice the world, the potential to save the world for her. You know, mm-hmm. as much as like it tugs at the heartstrings, but with everything that's gone on, the way that she feels about, oh, everything I've gone through, everything we've done will be a waste if we don't get this cure. That's, I think, how he feels. Everything we've gone through will be a waste if she doesn't survive, if we're not able to just live and exist together, like happily, because all that growth he's. And growth is something you can get very attached to, right? Especially healing. The worst thing is to become injured again right after you feel like you healed. And it's true in every, it's true mentally, it's true physically. And I think he's like, this was my 20 year healing process. Mm -hmm. And I thought, like, I thought I was healed. And now this, they're they're like, the potential of, the potential of, of the same injury and the same impact. And like, you know, you can argue that if, if it had happened, he might not have missed, you know, the shot that he takes because for something like that to happen two times. So it's, it's so hard and we'll always lean towards saving the characters that we've grown with and known, but it's also impossible to watch the show without considering like the experiences and the families of the fireflies or like that doctor, you know, who may not who may really just be trying to rationalize this in a way that is logical and technically is ethical. It is. Oh, as yeah, ethical no. as it can be. For sure. It's like, you know, the the one life to save the many. Yeah. But it's the trolley problem. It literally is just... It's literally the trolley problem. No, and you're also, absolutely right. I love... This has become such a... But the trolley problem, you will find it in so many different TV shows and movies nowadays. I don't know why we've caught on to like what a... Maybe it's always been like this and I just... I'm only noticing it with newer stuff. But I feel like the one versus all has always been like... It's crazy how much morals ethics and philosophy like work their way into our culture without us necessarily knowing them consciously we Mm -hmm. know these ideas and i think everyone you ask has has a like the trolley problem on itself is usually pretty easy for people to answer if you don't know any of those people you don't know the five people on the tracks you don't know the one person most people that i've you know find it easier to do that find it easier to make that that's very interesting um i took a lot of philosophy or like moral Mm -hmm. philosophy classes for my major in college and I like a lot of people in all my classes would never be willing to like hit the lever oh but that's what that's I think oh but that's I guess if you just like you have two tracks okay I guess that's That's true I guess the idea the choice of inaction but then in your if you're if in your inaction five people die you've still made a choice which is really important Pierre because in yeah. his what he he might feel like we can't call what he did in action he <laughs> probably like a hundred people oh. but if if he were to remain quote-unquote inactive and never have brought her to the fireflies um in the first place he'd still have made a choice that would lead to either the deaths or lives of of millions billions of people right so he has he's in this position where no matter what he does he impact he impacts millions of millions of people Mm -hmm. and that's where the difficulty lies is it's not becomes not just an easy question of like you know because you're right most people would not have it in them to pull the lever um or there's even like an additional trolley problem where you push someone onto the track to stop Mm -hmm. the train to stop the train nobody hitting the bat oh no because they feel like it's actively you know so Mm -hmm. it's just it's so fascinating i could talk about it for hours and i think this this episode specifically was such a beautiful example of just perfectly building dramatic tension to a conclusion that we know is coming and yet you're on the edge of your seat at every moment like watching him go through that hospital and i love that they dimmed the the actual you know um it was mostly just the music yeah non-diegetic music mm-hmm. or non non non-di- diegetic music. they dimmed the diegetic sound which is like all the gunfire and stuff they mm-hmm. really muffled that and it was just like this like march like we know where he's going we know he's gonna kill him because this man can fight um and it was it was really tense so that was uh now we gotta wait like two years you guys two years so, like, yay it's been <laughs> have they renewed. even started filming season two <laughs> Probably not. I'm sure oh, they were also man. like they gotta wait to see their 
how it's received. And I well, know they don't want to to be too faithful to the game, so I'm sure there's there's got to be the process of writing well, in those new bits. I do know that part two, the game, is a lot more divisive than this first one is. Like, this first game's I, pretty yeah, universally love loved, and the second one yes. is kind of like, you love it or you hate it. And I think because that second game came out, what, three years ago? Yeah, I think it was like 2020. About th- yeah, something like three years ago. And um, maybe it's because I was a little more in tune with the online community a little bit, or maybe in, in some of those communities a little closer that I would see post stuff. I feel like I have a better sense of the, the narrative of the second game. So who knows? We might start watching the TV show and I'll be like, oh, that was spoiled for me. That was... but. As mm-hmm. of right now, I, there's not too many spoilers I can pull off the top of my head. Um, but I also don't know if they've confirmed that season two is going to exactly follow the second. Like, is it going to be... I don't know if this is where the first game ends. I think it the, does. I think this is so where it ends. So they've actually managed... That's really impressive that they managed to condense I'm shocked the that they fix, they fit two. everything into this 45 minutes episode, thought, to be honest. I, I actually thought it was going to be kind of like season one is first game part one. Season two is first game part two. And then season three would be like, you know, I thought they, because also shows love to milk it. They're like, how much money? How many episodes? <laughs> how many episodes can, can we, we do? Out? How much money? Um, but this doesn't, this isn't a show that necessarily screams making money over telling a good story. Like they, they consistently mm-hmm. prioritize telling a good story. And I love that. Um, but overall, gosh, the performances. Pedro the and Bella really... Like Such they were chemistry. so good, it was so believable. And there's um, like uh, so much nuance to how they were playing their characters. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was it's, it was it's so the good. perfect show because I think it is so quiet and because mm-hmm. there's very little. It's not like a when it comes to the emotional arcs of the characters, it's not super uh, heavy on the dialogue. The characters aren't usually talking through what's going on in their heads. We, it, it's up to us to just pick it up and they do an amazing mm-hmm. job and that's like how you can tell if someone's a fantastic actor is they're just sitting there listening and if you look at their face you can almost follow what they're thinking in their eyes and in their and that's that's incredible um and for someone as young as bella too it is insane so i i have to like i feel like slapping all those people who are like but she doesn't look like ellie I'm, that much i'm like mm-mm. come on i'm ready to I had a conversation fight with all a friend. of them I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out my friend right now if you're watching this episode um <laughs> that there was someone that had a complaint about, well, her eyes aren't green. I was like, are you screwing but, like, with me? Come the thing on. is, Joel Joel is white in the game. I know, I know. Like, I don't understand, like, the there point... The, but the thing is, her, do her green eyes come into play at all? Do her green eyes affect her character? Do they... No. If it did, <laughs> like, the way it is in Harry Potter, which is, like, mm-hmm. green eyes... You is have your mother's character. eyes. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I could make the argument. Um, and occasionally, like, race does come into play, right? But when it doesn't, who cares? These are fantastic yeah. actors. If those physical attributes have nothing to do with the plot, the character, anything, then really, why are you so attached to it other than familiarity? Honestly. Like, you're familiar with the games. And if the show isn't able to rekindle your love with totally different faces, then it didn't do its job. If it's just coasting on that familiarity, then I would say the show failed. But this show didn't do that, mm-hmm. right? Like, I... And I'm not necessarily the best example because I, I can't say I had, like, a relationship with the game characters. But it really, like, each individual character I was drawn to per the performance, per the writing, you know? And that's... Mm-hmm. That's what counts. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm. And that's, that's how... You just that's, schooled them. Yeah, well... If anyone disagrees or thinks that it is really important and you have, like, justification, drop it in the comments. Let us mm-hmm. know. I'd love to have, like, a discussion about it. But, yeah, I think we're just so pumped for season two in a million years. In, in a few years, yeah. Um, but, yeah, as always, the full-length reaction will be up on our pl- Patreon, so please go check that out. Thank you, as always, for being here, joining us, and watching our reactions. And if you're new, hopefully you decide to stick around because we would love to have you join us. Um, and if you do decide to stick around, we will see you guys in the next reaction. Thank you.